टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सिविक्स सेकंड लेसन दैट इज व्हाट इज डेमोक्रेसी वाई डेमोक्रेसी इट इज फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ सिविक्स सेकंड लेसन टॉपिक इज व्हाट इज डेमोक्रेसी वाई डेमोक्रेसी तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन राइजेस इन द टॉपिक इटसेल्फ हियर व्हाट इज डेमोक्रेसी डेमोक्रेसी इज जस्ट अ फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट व्हिच इज मेनली elected the leaders of this government is mainly elected by the common people like us we uh, vote every four or five years each time we vote and we elect the person who is going to be the leader of our country so this is referred as democracy now here we will see some features of democracy what are the some characteristics of democracy so here i have some sorted out some points here like in democracy uh, earlier we we are having monarchy system where so much of rules and regulation was not in favor of us like common people but in the democracy we have lots of rights rules regulations which is in favor of common people here so first right which was given to the people is free and fair election election is done just there is a no see corruption so see here free and fair each and every person whether rich poor the female male no uh, criteria is there no clarification is there no judgment on this basis is no on the basis of judgment on the basis of economic status the status of the people nothing is seen here we are free to do election we are free to vote but our age should be at least 18 years of age second point one person only one vote is to be given and that vote will be counted as one value so one vote one person one vote and one value is also an important character of democracy point number third there are certain rules which is made so that each and every fundamental rights which is given to the citizen of the country is to be followed strictly so there are certain rules there are certain laws to protect those rights is also implemented in this democracy now the next point is the major decision of our country the most important decision of our country is mainly taken by whom by the leaders whom we have elected by the leaders whom we trust that is why we have elect, elected those leaders and those leaders are going to take the major decisions of our country now next we will see now we will see some points which favors democracy means we can we can say in other words there are certain certain advantages of democracy now let's see one by one it is the most accountable form of government ever seen till now most accountable uh, we can trust here there are systematic things to be done everything uh, is to be, everything is uh, judged properly so before putting any laws or rules in regulations everything is seen judged properly so we can trust here the most trustable form of government to the democracy is proved yet as compared to the other form of government now here we what we can see the quality of decisions improves with the passage of time each and every time the decision of leaders the decision of common people uh, just it keeps on you know, improving day by day so here we are getting the better opportunity here better place to improve our decisions now the third point is it is a form of government which deals with the conflict person uh, the, like uh, conflict here may be referred as any kind of theft any, any kind of cases any kind of uh, just uh, any kind of cases which is seen in our uh, uh, day to day life so those conflict any fight is going on between the neighbors between the families everything is there we can uh, bring those cases to the court and then we can get the judgment for that there are certain rules and regulations implemented over there so it deals all kinds of conflicts and provide peace and security to our life next is it improves the dignity of a citizen here we got the right to judge to elect the leaders so we have got a respectable position in this country being a citizen it is not an easy task it is a responsible task so here we get get the kind of respect a kind of dignity a kind of post we consider here and finally it allows to correct our mistakes also suppose uh, if we have uh, done some mistake in 
electing our leader and we are seeing that this leader which we have elected is not improving, is not doing his or her work properly. Uh, just he has uh, 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 fooled the people. So in the coming next five years, after five years, every five years, we are training the leaders. So here we have a, 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 a time to improve our mistake. We can choose another leader to lead our country. So till here we have um, selected these topics of the chapter. You go through these topics properly, make the notes of it and keep learning. Till then, uh, have a good day and take care.